I'll be discussing uh, another purpose of Hotelling's Law today. In the context of class, we learn about Hotelling's Law as why certain members of society are alienated because of their views. Their views lie too far to the extreme and do not align with mass media's centralized focus. However, Hotelling's Law also has very common uh, applications in the business world. It is a common marketing strategy to determine physical store locations and how to attract the most consumers. If we assume that each one of the 10 uh, consumers is equally distributed from a store, then the stores will align themselves in the center to maximize both sales. Consumers will come from both sides and meet in the middle where they have a random chance of going to each store, resulting in sales of 55 to each store. However, if store one was to begin at location three, then store two would move to location four in order to maximize the sales at 80, while store one only has 30 sales. This is because all consumers to the right will go to store uh, two, while all consumers to the left will go to store one, since it is the closest store to them. The situation changes if stores attract customers a specific amount of locations away. In this example, store one attracts customers who are two locations away, while store two attracts customers that are only one location away. If both stores stay in the center, then, sale, then store one will maximize their sales at 35, since they will receive all consumers from the outside and then half of the ones from the inside that store two will also attract. Store true will only attack, attract 15 of the 30 customers within this range. Therefore, for store two to maximize their profits, they should move to the fringes outside of, outside of store one's control. This results in a sale of 50 for store one and uh, sales of 30 for store two.